Right, this is a unit in Washington, and um, great little radio, great example of the era. Very, very clean. Uh, actually came with its uh, original box as well, so, um, um, and paperwork I've got somewhere too. Where have I got that? Good point. Somewhere there is the um, original paperwork that goes with it too, so um, I'll just have a little quick look for that. And yes, uh, original paperwork, um, so original booklet with all the bits and pieces in it. Uh, and the uh, original circuits, etc. So yeah, no, it's good. Um, this one has not been played with at all. Um, the only thing we've done is aligned its frequency um, and its power was a little bit low. It was um, typical sort of, you know, 8 watts maximum. We just brought that up to 12 watts and uh, and that's uh, running quite well. Um, and uh, just adjusted its AM power. But, but um, yeah, look, there's a bit of skip running at the moment. Um, was. <laughs> We'll see if anything sort of comes back, but um, um all right, so we're always going to get the odd person on there. Um, okay, JDW two two nine test one two three four five. As you can see, one two three four five one two one two one two three four five. So you're doing this twelve watts or so um, uh, on its peak easily, and uh, let me just turn them down a bit. Um, very clean radio um, this um, I can't say that it's brand new out of the box because you know that's not entirely true uh, but I'll tell you what um, it is um, one of the cleaner ones we've ever seen and um, um, comes with its uh, original unit and mic as well etc etc and um, all its digits working beautifully well there's um, Steve 177 in Wodonga he's just put up a new V quad and um, we supplied him the V quad um, just some one I had lying around from Shockwave from about three years ago. We can hardly hear him now because of the fact he's on the V quad. Uh, he's pointing up north. See, that's not bad if he's working in California. Um, I'm on a much smaller antenna here, so I'm not. I can just hear the California guy. 151 California there. Uh, but, you know, Steve on the V-Quad would be hearing him, you know, so much better. Must be a bit of U.S. skip happening, because a few people talking about um, contact in the U.S. Jeez, I'll tell you what, um, fans are reasonably busy. About 11 a.m. Let's see there. Nothing happening down on the a.m. channel. But, you know, that's very skip related. Uh, let's have a look there. Uh, oh, that volume's up here high. <laughs> I realise. Cranking that up a bit. I was trying to hear that California station. It was pretty low for me. Uh, oh, yeah. But, yeah, look. Um, Really good example of the era. I love these. I love these types of radios because nobody's been into them and you know done anything. You know, there's no mod boards, there's no scan boards, there's no nothing. It's um, exactly how you'd expect it to be uh, for a you know sort of um, a nice example of a collector piece. And um, but uh, yeah, certainly there's a lot of skip coming through at the moment, uh, which is um, it's, it's Easter Sunday here just as a reference and uh, yeah it, it really is quite um, quite stunning I saw some signals before you'll see how it peaks up a little bit well it will the skip will just peak up and suddenly it'll be five and nine plus ten plus twenty and uh, then it just does what it's done now it's just dipped right back down again but um, there's them to the brakes with uh, conditions for sure anyway that's the unit in Washington um, they're a really nice looking base um, certainly one that everybody should have in their collection um, we've um, certainly had a lot of fun with uh, just quickly, you know, getting this thing on frequency, and um, and, I, and I don't think anyone had played with it. It was just more that it's it's sat around for years, and sometimes you will you'll have to do a little bit of a frequency adjustment. We uh, also um, got a bit of um, deox at D5 and spread it through all the controls, etc. 
uh, which um, uh, volume control was just a slight bit scratchy. For, for the amount of time it hasn't been used for, it uh, wasn't bad actually. So you're starting to come up again. Noise blanker, you've got the Channel 9 switch on these of course, um, like so. And they had a signal area for uh, modulation. Oh look. Yeah, I'll turn that mic can up. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me. But yeah. Hey, oh, test one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. No, I don't think anyone's going to hear us here, to be honest. Um, we're probably one of the more lower power stations um, <laughs> on 27 megs at the moment. Um, and look, this is just a little antenna that's just on top of the roof. So what you're hearing is actually quite um, quite amazing, uh, especially hearing that California station before. Um, it wasn't very strong, but he wasn't um, terrible either. So, yeah, that's the unit in Washington. Um, and... Uh, uh, I think this is going to a mate of mine, to be honest, so um, I won't say it's up for sale, but I think it is sort of heading out somewhere um, because um, he sort of showed a bit of interest. I've got two in the box like this. We've got another one that's uh, down there on the bottom, uh, on the left-hand side there, wrapped in plastic. And um, uh, and there's the other Washington next to it as well, the uh, president. Um, so, um, yeah, so this one uh, I think is going to a new home, but, yeah, very, very nice, clean radio to, to uh, shoot off to uh, Tim for sure. All right, all the best to you. Have a great day and a great Easter, um, Easter Sunday here. We'll catch you a bit later. All the best. Cheers.